Hi, I'm Bill Treiber with Artistic Finishes, and today we're going to talk about treads and risers. I'm here doing an install. We want to look at some of the details that go into a tread and riser installation. The particular product that we're putting in is a European white oak. Uh, these treads that we provide come with an 8 millimeter radius edge. You can get them with other edges as well. Uh, you can see that this uh, shows the different graining of the product and is a full thickness tread. Now I've already done a pre-cut on the back so the width on this is acceptable for the size of these steps. It was a two-part cut, first a square cut but then also an angled cut so that when we drop it down into the riser it'll make it a little bit easier. Remember we're dealing with pre-finished products that are custom blended to a particular manufacturer. Okay. With me, in order to make sure that we do the correct end cuts, I have a stair jig that we're going to position into the step, enabling us to get the correct end cuts. In doing that, we have this level across the top of the riser. It adjusts in length, which I have pre-adjusted, and it also adjusts on the ends. I'll show a little bit more of that on the other side here. You can see that it's sitting on the riser. It's got a little stopper here that allows you a spring-loaded stopper. And this particular knob right here will enable us to move that tread jig in and out to the edge so that we can get the proper edge there along the entire width while having it perpendicular to the riser, level with the top of the step, getting it nice and tight in front and back, and then tightening that down into place. Now we've got our end measurements for the tread. Let's go see how we scribe that onto the tread itself. So. With the stair jig, I've taken it and placed it on the tread, the next tread that we're going to cut. These treads come in standard sizes. You don't have a lot of length options. So you can see I'm going to be cutting quite a bit off the ends. But what I have here is an exact template of the ends that I need for a proper cut for my tread. And so what I use is the back of the blade to score that line. I can extend that line here once I get this set on both sides. And we'll do the same thing over here, I'm kind of holding it down, making sure it hasn't moved. time just to give us a clear edge with the blade up. Okay, that's that. Now let's go down and cut it. So now we're down at the shop here where the where the saw is and I've lined up my blade already uh, with my compound miter and uh, I'm going to make a straight cut first then I'm going to come back and cut an angled cut eliminate uh, not doing the front exposed bullnose area. So you'll see I'll stop before I get to that front edge, okay? Uh, but I do want to, uh, to show you those two cuts because it's critical for installation. Okay.
and obviously we'll do the same thing on the opposite end and then we'll get it back to the tread and do the install. Hi, we're back here now on the steps. I did not show you the second cut, but I do want to make mention of it again. I, I mentioned it a little bit earlier, but when you're cutting the stair and you're adding that extra angle uh, that you see here, you always want to make sure you stop before you get to the stair nosing or the bull nosing portion of the tread. And the reason being is that that's going to be exposed when you look over here on these treads, you're going to want to feel a solid stair nosing, uh, bull nosing portion of that. That's why it's critical to make sure when you do that two cut uh, process that you stop when you get to the exposed section. The other thing that I did that I didn't show you is I took uh, the tread to my table and used my belt sander along the ends to make sure that I sanded that just perfect to the scribe that I made. And assuming that I did the scribe, used the stair jig correctly, everything should fit in here just like a glove. Let's try it. We're going to do it once without any adhesive or, or nailing. Okay. Now it's sticking a little bit. There we go. Now she dropped in. And as you can see, these edges here are perfect to that skirt board. Okay. Next we're going to put some adhesive down and then we're going to go ahead and put some nails in here to uh, fully secure. Okay, I have put down the adhesive on the top of each of the stringers. Now we're going to put the uh, tread down into the actual location of where it's going to go. We want to be a little bit careful here to start. Uh, we're trying to minimize the amount of scraping on these skirt boards. So we've got ourselves a pretty nice tight fit. Okay, It is against the back edge of the riser on the corners. Okay. And it's flush down. You would do your additional finishing nailing on here to bring this down and make sure that it is in, in place. Feels like it's very consistent in terms of location and everything. Uh, you know, I, I always like to use a riser at, at, at some point just to make sure that we're perfectly level, which means that we've done our prep work correctly. Uh, the last thing that I do want to tell you, a little trick that I do, I've got a little gap along the back here, and you'll notice that all of these are tight. One of the things that I use is a cabinet screw, which uh, does not have any threading, uh, the width of what would be your riser. And I like to go to the back edge of the riser on a 45 degree angle pre-drill using a nail of similar size, possibly a little bit smaller. You don't want any splitting and pre-drill that with that nail, finishing nail, and then go ahead and sink these into that bottom edge of the riser, which will pull that riser right to the back edge of the tread. And at that point, you will have yourself a perfectly tight installation. Hey, this has been Bill Triver here at Artistic Finishes. I want to thank you for being with us today. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to call us. Certainly respond through our website. We have a technical section in there. We'll look forward to seeing you on the next one. It's been great having you. Thank you. Have a good day.